All right, we've made it to our last lesson of the chapter. Um, today, we are going to work on solving these polynomial equations we've been working on. Um, our goal is to have our equation in factored form, and then we can solve from factored form. So this right here is almost factored form. x minus 3 squared, we want to remember what that means is it's 2 of those x minus 3s, x minus 3 times itself. So once you get it broken down into factored form, then we have, it's called a zero product property. If you multiply two things, in this case an x minus 3 by an x minus 3, if you multiply those together and get zero as your answer, that means that either the x minus 3 equals zero or the other x minus 3 equals zero. So what we do is we set up these mini equations. We saw a little bit of this uh, last chapter x minus 3 equals 0, and you solve each for 3. Or sorry, <laughs> solve each for x. And you get 3 for your answer. And over here, you add 3, you get 3 for your answer. So what we have is x is equal to, well, x is equal to 3. But because we have two of those, we're going to call this a double root. So we'll say x equals 3, and then we'll make a note double root, and that means that there actually are two of those threes. And that one is solved. All right, next one. We want to break this down into factored form. So everything, you know, if we have any squares, we'll take care of that. Um, x squared is just x squared. Then we have a 3x plus 5, and then we have an x minus 2, but that one is squared. So we're going to say that the first x squared equals 0, then the 3x plus 5 equals 0, and then this x minus 2 squared, remember that's x minus 2 times x minus 2, so you actually have two of them, x minus 2 equals 0, and then the other x minus 2 equals 0. All right, so Basically, anything that is separated with multiplication between, you know, these parentheses, we're going to set up those mini equations and solve for zero. So on this x squared equals zero, x squared is x times x equals zero. That means that the x equals zero or the other x equals zero. So we have two of them, x equals zero and x equals zero. On this next one, we're going to solve for x. We're going to subtract five. So we have 3x equals negative 5. Then we divide both sides by 3. So we have x equals a negative 5 thirds. All right, our next one, we're going to add 2. So we get x equals 2. And then on this last one, oh, just kidding. It's another x equals 2. So we get another x equals 2 because we would add 2 on both sides for that as well. So, what values are we finding for x? So our final answer, x equals, we've got a couple zeros, so we write down the zero, and then we make a note that's a double root. That's just communicating that we have two of those. We also got a negative 5 thirds, and we also got a 2, but that 2 is a double root. So we write that in a little bit neater than I am. All right, so let's just kind of think about what we just did. We're solving polynomial equations. We want to have it into broken down factored form like this so that you're separating things with multiplication. If you have a squared, that means that it's you have two of them like that. That's going to give you two answers. It will give you the same answer twice, so it gives you that double root. And basically, you're just solving each little equation for x. All right, we're wrapping up our 70s chapter of Name That Tune. Um, this singer slash songwriter had a lot of big hits in the 70s, and I actually have met this person. So because we've met and I've had a photo taken with him, I like to say that he's my friend. So, you know, we go way back. Let me know if you know the song and the artist. Just yesterday morning, 
They let me know you were gone Suzanne, the plans they made put an end to you I walked out this morning And I wrote down this song I just can't remember who to send it to I've seen fire and I've seen rain seen sunny days that I thought would never end I've seen lonely times when I could not find a friend But I always thought that I'd see you 